Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. This is first class on sets chapter. First, I'll recall all the synopsis one after another. Once completion of all the synopsis, then we'll start objective bits. Okay. So the first point is what is set? A well-defined collection of objects is called a set. Here you need to observe two words. First one is well defined and second one is objects. What are known as objects? In mathematical language, all the things which is either living or non-living are known as objects. A well defined collection of objects is called a set. Well defined. We will try to understand what is this well defined collection of objects. Objects means what? Object means things which are either living or non-living. Well defined collection of objects. We will try to understand what is this well defined with few examples. Collection of ovals in English alphabet is a set or not? Collection of ovals in English alphabet. Ovals in English alphabet are well defined or not? What are the ovals in English alphabet? What are the ovals in English alphabet? Everybody knows that A, E, I, O, U are the ovals in English alphabet. So collection of ovals in English alphabet. What the point is ovals in English alphabet is well defined or not? Yes, ovals in English alphabet is well defined. So collection of ovals in English alphabet is a set. It is a set. Now we will try to understand this with one more example. Collection of all natural numbers. Natural numbers. Natural numbers are well defined or not? What are the natural numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. All those are natural numbers. So natural numbers are well defined or not? Yes, natural numbers are well defined. So collection of all natural numbers is a set or not? Yes, it is a set. We will try to understand this with one more example. You observe this collection of all beautiful girls in a class. You observe this beautiful girls in a class. Collection of beautiful girls in a class. Here the point is this beautiful girl is well defined or not. If we consider a particular girl, that girl may be beautiful to you. The same girl may not be beautiful to your friend. So beautiful girl is not well defined. This word beautiful girl, good girls, those things are not well defined. So collection of beautiful girls in a class is not a set. Now we will try to understand this with one more example. You observe here collection of good teachers in a college. Good teacher. Suppose a particular teacher you may feel that that teacher is good. The other person may not feel that the same teacher is a good teacher. So good teacher, the word itself, it is a vague term. It is not well defined. Good teacher is not well defined. So collection of all good teachers in a college is not a set. Why it is not a set? Because good teacher is not well defined. A particular teacher may be your favorite teacher. The same teacher may not be favorite to your friend. So good teacher is not well defined. I hope you understand the definition of set. Now we will learn important note related to this definition. See here objects in a set are called elements. Objects in a set are called elements. For example, you see this collection of all natural numbers is a set. So here what are the objects? Natural numbers are the objects. 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. So all those objects are in a, objects in a set are called elements. So 1 is element in this set. 2 is element in this set like that. Objects in a set are called elements. And second point is in general sets are denoted by capital letters A, B, C. And elements are denoted by small letter A, B, C. Now the second synopsis is representation of a set. How we represent a set? First method is roster method. Roster method is also known as tabular method. 
Second method is set builder method which is also known as rule method. First we will try to understand what is roster method. In roster method all the elements of a set are listed and they are separated by commas within curve brackets. What is roster method? In roster method all the elements of a set are listed and separated by commas within curved brackets. We will try to understand this with two examples. First example, we know that collection of ovals in English alphabet is a set because ovals in English alphabet are well defined. How we represent this set in roster method? How we represent this set in roster method? What is roster method? In roster method, all the elements of a set are listed. And here, what I will do now, I will list all the elements of this set. What are the elements of this set? Ovals in English alphabet. You list a, E, I, O, U. All the elements of a set are listed and separated by commas. Okay, you separate them commas. Within brackets. So, you observe here, all the elements of this set are listed and separated by commas within the brackets. So, this is known as roster method, roster representation of a set. We know that generally sets are represented by capital letters. So I can write this set like this. This type of representation is known as roster method. Roster method is also known as tabular method. We will try to understand this with one more example. Collection of prime numbers less than 5. We know that prime numbers are well defined and they are clearly saying that less than 5. So this is a set or not? Collection of prime numbers less than 5 is a set or not? Yes, it is a set. So, how we represent this set in roster method? What is roster method? In roster method, all the elements of a set are listed and separated by commas within the brackets. So, you list all the prime numbers which are less than 5. What are the prime numbers which are less than 5? 2, 3. Prime numbers less than 5 are listed and separated by commas within brackets. So, this is representation of this set in which method? Roster method. Generally, sets are denoted by capital letters. So, this set I can represent like this. So, this type of representation of a set is known as roster method which is also known as tabular method. Now, we will try to understand what is set builder method. Set builder method. In this method, all the elements of a set are represented by with its single common property. All the elements of a set are represented by with its single common property. We will try to understand how we represent a set in set builder method by using an example. I will consider the same example what is there here. You observe collection of ovals in English alphabet. Here this type of representation is known as roster method. Now how we represent same set in set builder method. See I will take this set as A how we represent? We represent like that. X says that what is the common property? X is a oval in English alphabet. You observe here all the elements of this set are like X. What is X? X is a oval in English alphabet. So this is the representation of this set in set builder method. You observe here I consider the example collection of prime numbers less than 5. You see here same example I taken. Here this is the representation of this set in roster method. How we represent the same set in set builder method? We represent all the elements with its common property. It is an element like x. What is x? x is a prime number. x is prime number and what you will say about x? x is less than 5. What happened? Here all the elements of this set is represented with its common property. So, in this way, we represent a set in both the methods. I hope you understand what is roster method and what is set builder method. Till now, we learn about definition of a set and how we represent a set. Now, we will learn types of sets. In types of sets, first we will learn about empty set. Empty set is also known as null set and it is also known as void set. What is empty set? 
A set which has no element is called empty set. A set which has no element is called empty set. Empty set is also known as null set. And this null set is denoted by like this. Phi, PHY, Phi, R, we'll write just simple empty brackets and we won't write anything here. So we will learn about empty set. What is empty set? A set which has no element is called empty set. Null set is denoted by phi or simply we'll write only brackets. We won't write anything in between them. And we'll try to understand this null set with an example. You observe this example, collection of months in a year which are having 32 days. We know that in a year 12 months are there. You please tell the months which are having 32 days. You please tell the month which are having 32 days. We know that we don't have any month which is having 32 days. So collection of months in a year which are having 32 days is a null set because we won't find any element in this set. Now fourth synopsis in this sets that is singleton set. What is singleton set? A set having only one element. A set which is having only one element is called singleton set. For example, you see this is the set having only one element. We say that this set is a singleton set because it is having only one element. Now fifth synopsis in this sets is finite set. What is finite set? A set which consists finite number of elements is called finite. A set which consists finite number of elements is called finite set. We'll try to understand this with an example. You consider a set A like this 1, 2, 3, 4. How many elements present in this set? Finite number of elements or infinite number of elements? Finite number of elements are present. So this set is known as finite set. And we'll take uh, one more example. Collection of all ovals in English alphabet. What you will say about this set? This set is a finite set or infinite set? We say that this set is finite set because it is having finite number of elements. How many elements are present in set B? Five elements are present. So what is finite set? A set which consists finite number of elements is called finite set. Important note related to finite set. Empty set is treated as finite set. So you need to remember this. Empty set is finite set or infinite set. If someone asks, we need to say that it is a finite set because it consists no element. Right? So empty set is treated as finite set. Infinite set. What is infinite set? A set which consists infinite number of elements is called infinite set. A set which consists infinite number of elements is called infinite set. We can understand easily this with an example. I'll consider collection of all natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. All the natural numbers. How many elements present in set A? infinite number of elements present in set A. That's why this set is known as infinite set. Similarly, if I consider collection of all prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7, like this, like this, collection of all prime numbers is a finite set or infinite set. You observe here how many number of elements are present in set B. Finite number of elements or infinite number of elements? infinite number of elements present in set B. So these are the examples for infinite set.